know the motor of that truck. They probably don't even know anything about it. They were parked here, and they're going to come back here and say, well, they might be. Yeah, get crashed, like, onto the field, like, into a tree. I'm sorry, maybe if you grew a couple inches, you could have tried He was bouncing and then went up into the tree and then came down there. Everybody turn out to be okay? Hope so. That pirate did a hell of a job. You saw it? <coughs> yeah. It was, it was, uh, it's Tony, last name Iorio, I-O-R-I-O. And Tony, normal spelling, right? T-O-N-Y? Yep. Okay. We were just walking across Flavet Field here, and we kind of heard sort of the muttering of uh, an engine trying to start up again, and it flew right over our head, maybe uh, 20, 30 yards above our head. And it touched down maybe uh, 20 yards in front of us, and then it came around the RVs, and the next thing we know is it had crashed into that car. Um, it, it did sound like it was stalled because uh, the, the full sound of the, the engine wasn't, wasn't uh, evident. We did hear something like they were trying to start something, so obviously there was, there was a problem, we could tell. Luckily, there was nobody walking across the field at that time, but it, did, it was able to touch down, but still it was coming at such a, a fast speed that it had no time to slow down. 